Good evening, viewers. Welcome to Stepping on the High Waters. I trust that you had a beautiful week, and this upcoming week, the glory of the Lord will shine forth upon you and your family and everything that concerns you. And with me on set today is no stranger. We have a prophet, Cheryl Cairo of Suriname. Mm -hmm. He's here with us. I said to him just now he will be having a TNT passport. <laughs> so he is here with me today and we will be having a wonderful time in the Lord. Prophet, good evening. Welcome to Stepping on the High Waters. Thank you very much, Minister oh. Henry. Okay. I'm saying kingdom greetings to yes. all the beloved viewers. Amen. It's good to be back in the land. Amen. Amen. It's my home away from home. That's right. And we always receive him. Amen. Today we have a, a, should I say hot topic, a strange topic, a beautiful topic. <laughs> it's a topic that we want to explore today. Mm -hmm. I, will, I was um, dealing with Isaiah 61. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anoint, had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. And the sweet little topic came to my spirit. Mm -hmm. Who the cap fit, let them wear it. I Who think the that's a hot topic. Let them wear it. <laughs> and this evening, I would just like to hand that over to the prophet of God, and we will explore. I want you to sit back, relax, and let the spirit of the Lord influence you. Amen. Prophet, who the cap fit? Let them wear it. Amen. Well, if you look at the passage of scripture that you read, then, and we look at the church today, because this has to do with God's people, with the church, with his leadership, then this cap we see here doesn't fit everybody. But that's a problem. It's the problem. Jesus. Because today we have so much going on in church, so much dynamics, uh, people carrying this title, that title. So much going on, but we don't see Isaiah 61. Mm -hmm. We don't see the anointing. We don't see captives getting delivered. We don't see prison doors being opened. We don't see that. So, on the other hand, there are some who the cap fit. Yeah. The cap meaning the ones who don't show the power. Okay. Right? So there are two caps here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, but, but um, I honestly believe that God is in a place right now with his church where he wants to restore back all these things. It's not just some nice scripture we read, but God wants this thing on display with his people that we will go places as his church, whether we are a leader or, or just a quote-unquote sheep. But if we have this Holy Spirit, if the Spirit of the Lord indeed is upon us, mm -hmm. we will show these things. Yes. When we look at the early church, they had this thing. Yes. On the day of Pentecost, and I think it's this weekend, right? Yes. We celebrate Pentecost. Yes. So the Holy Spirit came upon the church, the ones that were set apart, the ones that uh, went into retreat to wait on the Lord. And as they waited, eventually, by reason of God's promise to them, the Holy Spirit came. And it was never God's intention for this to change. It was never His intention for it to change. But throughout the ages, it has changed. We don't show this uh, Spirit of God upon us again. Uh, there is so much, again, going on in, in, in the church in general, and it's, it's across the globe, right? So it's not a, a Tobago or Trinidad yes, thing or yes, Suriname yes. thing or, or, or the United States. No, mm -hmm. it's, it's all over. It's all over. So uh, 
we really have to get back to that place where we really find the heart and the mind of God. And if we can find that and uh, act uh, appropriately towards, towards that, we will, we will start to see what God has meant the church to be. To be, yes. Do you think that we are hungry enough? Or um, this may sound a little hard, but do we have to be in some form of a crisis, deep crisis, in order for us to find our way? No, we do we push hard into or press enough? No, we, we, we don't press enough. The hunger is not really there. But then God has his way of allowing things to happen. To happen yes. For his thing to happen. Yes. So eventually we find ourselves in crisis, not because God wants us in the crisis, mm -hmm. but if for, 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 the, for the sake of the crisis we're going to seek God now, mm -hmm. then let the crisis be. So, so, so that's why sometimes we end up in places where if we only knew, if we only knew. And, and we pursued really an after God and the things of God uh, no we don't have to be in no crisis we, what crisis Jesus went through before he demonstrated what he demonstrated that it is possible to live holy walk and, and, and live in the power of God and, and, and really live this thing. It's, it's not just some preaching on a Sunday or in a Wednesday service. It's an everyday life. Jesus walked this thing. He demonstrated that yeah. it is possible. He even, when it was time for this thing, this very same Isaiah 61, he read in the hearing of everybody that day in the synagogue. And when he was done reading, he said, today, this today, day, this, day yes. this scripture was fulfilled mm -hmm. in your ears. Do you think that some of us, it says here, to proclaim liberty to the mm -hmm. captive. Do you think some of us? No, if I, I'll be very honest with you. There are some fellowships, churches, places where saints, people of God come together. And instead of captives being released, it is as if people are being put in bondage. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and at some point, it even goes to, ah, to, oh boy. <laughs> nah, where people just rhetoric start to do things and, and it becomes some, some formality, some form, and they go through this. Because it's something that it looks as if it's one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three, step, one, two, three, step. Yeah, but with God, there's no one, two, three. One, two, no, it doesn't work like that. When it comes to really spiritual things, and we when we study God's word, when we study how God operates, even in creation, every day, God moved in another dimension. He did it. He did something else to eventually, on the sixth day, finalize what he started on day one. So even God has his way of wanting us to know what to do. There is always a what to do next. Yes. You cannot count on yesterday experience. No. You, no, no, no. It has its place. Yes. But you cannot build on that. Because it's a new day. It's a new it's day a new with day. its own new challenges. And God wanting to do something anew, something afresh. Mm -hmm. We need to find out what to do next. And we find it out from God. But then we spoke about this hunger, about the really seeking of God. It's, it's, in the end, it's really going to be a remnant. Just mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. out of the to some total, it's going to be just a remnant who are really seeking God. And eventually going to walk in this thing. Because when we seek, we mm -hmm. will find. And if we find God, we will walk in this thing. Because reading it... It sounds spiritual, mm -hmm. yes it is, Yeah. but there is a but. It looks like hard work. It looks like plenty work. Oh yes. It's, 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 it's sacrificing. Yes. It's putting aside of things and going before God. It's, it comes like, um, not, not, not um, 
mocking the vegetarians and things, but it comes like, uh, God tell you, don't eat no meat. Mm -hmm. Don't eat no, no, no meat of any kind. Mm -hmm. Just stick to vegetables or stick to fruit and mm -hmm. things. And you know, it, it, it takes a working and a building and a working and a building yes. and a pressing and a coming forth, a pressing and a coming forth. And it's like a fight to some of us. Listen to me, that is much work. How can I do without meat? I need my food. <laughs> I, I, I it is much work. You, In this modern age, this church of, of the 21st century, sacrifice has become like a curse word. It is. Some 20, 24, 25, 30 years ago, when eventually I came into the gospel, that's what we wanted to do. But now, 30 years down the road, nobody wants to do that again. No, yes, it's a glamour. It's, it's, it's yeah, glamour. it's all glitter and glamour and all the entertainment and all of that. Everybody want to feel nice, have some popcorn, stretch your leg, watch a movie. Yes. No, that's not how it works. When we study the Lord of, the, of our Master, the Lord Jesus, we'll find him all free, every so often in, 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 in solitary, depriving himself of all the glitter and the glamour and whatnot, being with the Father, being alone early in the morning, whilst it was still dark, he was in prayer, early in the morning, late in the night. He was in his Father's mm -hmm. presence. That's the way you're going to demonstrate Isaiah 61. That's the way it's going to be played out in, in one's life if we really get to that place of seeking God. The psalmist said in Psalm 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Today nobody wants no secret place, but everybody wants to walk in the power. Yes. No, that's not yes. how this thing goes. Mm -hmm. In the secret place, that's where you get the power. Jesus told his disciples, you go, in the upper room and you wait. So eventually that upper room became a secret place and they were there waiting on the Lord. That's the only how Peter could step out of that room, preach a sermon of just a few lines yes, and yes. 3,000 people get saved. Yes, yes. That was no because of no nice preaching because no. it wasn't nice at all what no. he said. He even called these people the murderers of Jesus. That is you who killed him. Is you who crucified him, mm -hmm. and yet 3,000 get saved. That's the power of God, of them waiting. On him. Yes. Because there needs to be a drawing. It needs there to be. There is no drawing. One gentleman said that. Um, the reason why, because they are preachers, mm -hmm. they are teachers, but there's a dryness yes. coming out from the pulpit. And it's not drawing anyone. No. There is not drawing. It is said that there are more empty seats <laughs> in the churches, <laughs> and the churches are emptying. Are we not? Are we taking God for granted? Yes, we are. In Hosea chapter 4, and I think it's verse 6, we have this uh, portion of scripture that so, so often, especially leadership, uses this scripture almost to, to condemn the church, to condemn God's people. Mm -hmm. But God is talking to the priesthood there, not, yeah, to the sheep. not to the sheep. That my people perish by lack of knowledge. And he's addressing the priest there. God is talking to the leaders, the ones from the pulpit, to deal with the sheep so that they will have knowledge. And God says the priest, they themselves don't mind to have the knowledge. So it's an, it's a, the rebuke there is to the church leaders, not to the sheep. Because so often some sheep or, or some mm -hmm. church, yes. um, they, they, we, you know, they don't see results, nothing going on. And then the leaders mm -hmm. so easily and, uh, tell them it's because you don't have knowledge. Yes. So yes. that's why you're lacking this. Mm -hmm. That's why you're like, no, but, but mm -hmm. it is the leadership. It is us to provide that knowledge by, for ourselves, finding it first. 
And then we go back to that secret place. That's where you find the knowledge. That's where God will reveal stuff to you. And you will come and stand in the pulpit and you will minister with revelation. You will minister and there will be a drawing. Be Jesus a drawing. came into mm. the open onto the scene with his ministry. When he hit the scene, there were already ministers. We had Pharisees, we had Sadducees, yes. there was no drawing. Why mm. all the crowd following Jesus mm. and not the Pharisees mm. and the Sadducees? There was a difference. Was a Jesus difference. had the power, That's they did right. not. It's like a, 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 um, a singer who, um, if you look outside, when these people go on stage, mm -hmm. they do their few moments oh, yeah. of whatever it is. And then the people began to scream and they're bawling, yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever they are doing, whoever God they are talking to, mm -hmm. they give the few moments of silence mm -hmm. to whoever and whatever. And then you, as they open their mouths and they began to perform, the people yeah. began drawing and screaming and carrying on and stuff like that. And then sometimes we say, um, I think we go overboard a little bit by saying hype. Mm -hmm. But sometimes people are in such a depot that they want something to awaken them. They want yeah. something to shake them. They want something to pull them out from the Marie Clay. They want something to oh, dig yes. them out from that rut. And, and I think we are, we are in a place, we have become in a place where we keep talking and talking and talking, but nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. And people are looking. That is why some people say, i rather stay outside mm -hmm. and face my music than come inside to hear talk. They are coming to hear us, to know how to dig. And then as I understood what the pastor was saying when he was, I was looking at him on television. Mm -hmm. He said, we go with dry spells and expect things to happen. Mm -hmm. And then we beat up on the ship. We beat up yes. on the people and say it's them not receiving and it's them. But they are not drawing anything no. from on top. No. We're not, no offense to anybody, but we are just no, showing the cap what fit? God the is cap saying. Fit? Yeah. Who the cap fit? Yeah. Yes. Let them wear it. <laughs> Listen, this, this, until or unless we have a secret place and we really get into that mode and God can deposit something in us, we will have nothing to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. We will have nothing to give. Peter looked at this man at the gate, beautiful, and he told him, such as I have. He did have something. He did have something. Yeah. That very same gate where all these Pharisees and all these Sadducees passed to go to the temple. They had nothing to give this man. But Peter looked at him that day and they told him, such as I have, in the name of Jesus, get up and walk. Peter had this secret place. He had this encounter, this walk with the Lord. Something was deposited in Peter, the anointing, the mantle, the mandate, the commission. The Holy Spirit was with these men of God. So, some people take off their cap. Mm -hmm. They are not wearing their caps. They mm -hmm. rest it down. Yeah. And it's time to put it on. It's time to put it on. It's time to wear the, hat, the cap. Because if yeah. the cap fits you, you need to wear it. Yes. Exactly. That's how we do this. You see, when, 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 Whatever it is we put on, where do we put on our clothes? In the secret place. In the secret place. Nobody stands in the middle of the road putting on his clothes. Mm. We do it in a private yeah, chamber, right. in, 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 right. in the That's secret right. place. That's, That's right. where God dresses us. That's where he puts on whatever we need to step outside and, and be effective. It, it happens in the secret place. It happens in the secret place. So when we step out from that place, people will know something going on with this woman. Boy. Yes, and some people, they don't have to be deep. They don't, they, they, that natural instinct mm -hmm. will tell you. You see this person, it, that person, there is a look. 
or whenever I pass next to this person, yes. I have a feeling. Or when this person speaks, something about something because draws me. Holy Spirit is real. The anointing is real. People, some, they, they won't understand it all the time, but as you say, something will happen with somebody next to you if you have this thing on your life. It, 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 and there is this drawing. It will draw We need people. to draw. We need to draw. Yes. We need to draw. There needs to be a drawing. And the church really needs to get back in that place because today we claim to be the church. We claim to be minister so-and-so, apostle so-and-so, bishop so-and-so, but no power. And the world is laughing at us. They're laughing at us. Because we have no power. It's as the Bible said, like the dew in the morning, mm -hmm. gently rest upon my heart. We need to do. The dew, the long time people used to say, you see that dew in the morning? It mm -hmm. is very, very effective. Mm -hmm. it, it has healing, that, that little dew there that we take for granted a long time. Yeah. People used to be so on the dew. When the dew, that dew in that morning, mm -hmm. and the animals yes. love the, those, that dew on the grass. Mm -hmm. They eat that and they, f they get fed with that. Why aren't we feeding? No, but I said, we, we in this no entertainment longer. mode today as the church in general, and everything has to be feel good, feel nice. Sacrifice have become a curse word. Nobody wants to do that again. Nobody wants to leave nothing aside and pursue after God. Yeah. No. So, but the only how this thing gonna happen is if we find ourselves back in that place, if we can get back in the upper room, if we can shut ourselves up and get back with God. When we come from that place, we will have something to bring to the table. So, Bedrin, time is always short. <laughs> but if the cap fits you, it is time for us to wear it. Some of us may have taken it off, or some of us may have been wearing the, the cap, but we're not wearing it as the prophet said, effectively, mm. as, or as God, or has ordained us to wear it. So prophet, take a minute, we just have a few minutes left, take a moment and just declare a word over those of us who aren't wearing our caps. All right, well, let me put it like this. I honestly believe, um, being a prophet uh, myself, that God is in a place with his church where he wants to bring us back to that place of truly seeking him because God wants to use his church. So I want to address especially leaders, those in leadership, those in fivefold, for us to indeed step up our game and get in that place with God where we, whenever it is we stand in the pulpit or in the marketplace, we will have something of God to give to the people because God is depending on yes. us. Amen. God have just said this thing like that. He sits in heaven, but he's depending on his church in the earth to deal with earth matters, to deal with us here. So he's depending on his body, on the church. Jesus Amen. is the head, Amen. we are the body. He's depending on us. So let's, let's step up our games. Let's go back to that place. Let's go back to the basics. So much have, have, have changed, changed and we have moved yes, away yes, from. Yes. But we need to get back to the foundations. And yes. one of these foundations is that place of prayer where we will get power, we'll be empowered, and we will come out with power. The Holy Spirit took Jesus after he was baptized by John the Baptist, brought him into the wilderness. When he came out of the wilderness, the Bible says he was full of the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You see, today you and I, people don't want to go through the wilderness, True. but they want the power. True. Everything no. must go nice and mm -hmm. smooth. And but come on yes, a golden platter. Yes, no, no, no. Yes, you yes. go through the wilderness and you come out with power. 
That's how we do this. I was looking <laughs> at a quote by my aunt which says, once the sea, no, a smooth sea mm -hmm. does not make good sailors. Mm -hmm. So, brethren, we just want to leave that with you. As he said, we, we, at times we go through some wilderness experiences to come out on top because mm -hmm. that is how God yes. moves us from one ladder to the next, from one level to the next. If the sea is always smooth, mm -hmm. the no good sailors change. will not be skilled or strong to do what work he has to do. So we want to leave that with you. Have a blessed, blessed week. Be a skilled soul there for Jesus. Amen. Until we meet again, go with the blessings of God. And wear your cap. Bye for now. Amen. Bye-bye. Shalom.